Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I will be doing a get to know me Q&A type of video. Um, I asked you guys to tweet me questions, snatch them to me. So I'll just be scrolling through and answering them. Okay, first question. What is your favorite highlight? Of course that was going to be a question. My favorite highlight has to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soul Hollywood and the Bomb Cosmetics Mary Luminizer. When did you start getting into makeup? Um, my freshman year, I had tried out for my school's drill team, and that's whenever they were like, you're going to have to wear your makeup for football games. And I was like, eh. like, I wasn't good at makeup. I slept at makeup. Like, I was terrified of even putting on eyeshadow or eyeliner. But um, that's when I really started getting into makeup um, for football games and performance and stuff. And then after that, that's where my journey began. Someone asked, Mac or Sephora? Sephora. Jazz asked, a do at school talk about your makeup because you're famous now. I wouldn't say I'm famous, but I do have people that talk about my makeup, but honestly, I get more positivity from school than on social media, which is crazy because I would kind of expect the opposite, but I actually got a lot of support from friends and even teachers and people that I didn't even know, so that was good. You're an inspiration to many people who have never met you. How do you feel about that and who is your inspiration? Um. Honestly, whenever I got all the positive feedback after I posted all my makeup looks, I was beyond baffled. I never expected that much support and love from people. So just to even know that I am an inspiration to somebody it really does mean a lot to me. And it's crazy how people even look up to me because I would have never imagined myself even sitting in front of a camera and recording myself. Um, and my inspiration is Champagne Whisper on Instagram. I look up to her a lot. Her makeup looks are the bomb.com. Yeah, she really go follow her. How old are you? I'm 18. Yes, I'm still in high school, by the way. I'm a senior. What is your biggest makeup pet peeve? My biggest makeup pet peeve is when I put a matte lipstick and I see the slightest, littlest crack, I automatically want to take it off and put a new coat because I hate cracked lips. Like, I just, I hate it. I can't, I can't do it. I can't. Do you Photoshop your highlight? Hunty. Does it look like this highlight is photoshopped? Like, it speaks for itself. What camera do you use? I use the Canon Rebel T3. Do you love this shit? Are you high right now? Do you ever get nervous? <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> okay, that was funny. Where do you see yourself in five years? Honestly, I see myself in five years opening a box full of makeup sent to me by a wonderful company previewing them and uploading more YouTube videos and traveling and hopefully graduated from college so favorite color Tiffany blue of course favorite makeup brand um I would have to say Anastasia Beverly Hills do you live with your parents yes I live with my mom and I live with my stepdad what do you plan on doing after high school um, currently, I am really deciding between Texas A&M and UT, Aggie or Longhorns, I don't know, which one you guys choose. Um, so I plan on going to college and majoring in communications and probably minoring in cosmetology. A lot of people ask me if I'm going to college for that and I'm not sure if I am. Um, and I plan on graduating and hopefully moving to LA. When did you start doing makeup on other people? Um, I first started practicing on my friends like just for fun and then like they would take pictures and stuff and people would ask them who did their makeup and that's basically how it all started and then prom season came along and a lot of people were asking me if I was going to do prom makeup and at first I wasn't really sure because you know I wasn't that confident but um, as I started I did start off a little bit uh, shaky but I did get better over time quickly honestly because my first client I started doing my eyeliner and by like the second one I was like it was like nothing piece of cake so how did you and your boyfriend meet a funny story okay so i went to a party and there was kind of like an uphill type of thing and me and my friends were going up there and he was just like standing there and of course my clumsy ass i tripped and i ended up falling in him falling onto him like some type of movie shit like i don't know like it felt like it was out of a book and I just remember looking at him, and we didn't, I didn't even talk to him. I, was, I just looked at him, and I'm like, oh, he's cute. And after that, you know, like, I ignored him. And he tried to get my attention, and I was curving him. I curved him for a good year to be H, and then, like, you know, that moment when you give the where my hug at boy a chance, and then you end up falling in love with him. 
So yeah, long story short. Um, he actually drew this painting. It's um, it's a painting of downtown, so I do live in Dallas. Um, he drew this by hand, actually. A painting like this would go by like 2,500, but he gave it to me for free. Thank you, babe. What do you use to take your selfies and what ring light do you use? Most of the time I use my iPhone, but on special occasions I use the Canon Rebel T3 camera. And for the ring light, I use the newer ring light. I will be linking it below on the description box for you guys if you guys want to purchase it. Um, it's really cheap and it's definitely worth the money. Um, it makes all the difference in selfies, especially if you want to get the highlight on. Who records your videos? My good friend JC actually volunteered to help me edit and record my videos. Um, he's actually behind the camera right now. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, he has been here with me since I started my YouTube channel, so he has seen me progress and grow with my YouTube channel. So, shout out to him. Where do you get your eyebrows done? Actually, I do my own eyebrows. I pluck them out. So, I had tried waxing and I would break out. And so I changed to threading and threading heart so much. People lied to me and told me it wasn't going to heart and it hurt. I was crying. So I just stuck to plucking my eyebrows, especially because every time I would go get them done, it would get thinner and thinner and thinner. So you know what? I just gave it a break and I just started plucking my own eyebrows out. And um, I groomed them and I cut them. So if you guys would like to see a YouTube video on that, give it a thumbs up. Are you a cat or dog person? Okay, this is Panchito. I am definitely a dog person. He is barely about to be two years old. He's the sweetest ever. And I love him so much. Because he's my little boo. Okay, let me get down. What's your favorite palette? My favorite palette has to be the Tartlet and Bloom palette. Only because you literally have everything in this palette. You have your dark matte browns, you have your light shimmery, oh you have some lighter brown colors, you know, you have your brown bone color, you just have everything in one palette. You need matte, shimmery, you name it, it's big. Best palette, go get it. Last question, how many YouTube subscribers do you have? I currently have 14,430 followers. I mean, subscribers. I currently have 14,430 subscribers and counting. Honestly, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support I have gotten. Um, on the first day I posted my first YouTube video, the comments and feedback I got was crazy. And just to even think about it, I barely started uploading videos a week ago and I already have almost 50k views on my first video. And that's amazing. So I would like to thank you guys so much. That is it for this Q&A. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Until next time.